we are now at Fiedefjell and uh, you know I was gonna go I was going to cross the the, the mountain over here uh, but the road is closed so what <laughs> bullseye <laughs> yeah snow just hit the lens but so I figured okay you know what let's try something so with a new uh, oh shit <laughs> oh no 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 um, with a new uh, camping you know uh, why don't we just try to camp in the car for two hours in this snowstorm and see how it goes and see how much energy we spend so um, uh, it's not blowing too hard yet we'll see but it's, it's snowing a lot so as usual I prepared all the goodies in the car uh, and then we can just hang out there and play some games or do something all right it's two in the afternoon now that's good so I just reset the trip here so now we can look at how much energy we spend while we are stationary and we also see that we have 71.4 percent so we can also look at the state of charge to estimate how much energy we have but it shouldn't be necessary because this one Wait, hmm, why is this and this different? What the heck, what is the difference between stationary and energy? Hmm, okay, but whatever. Um, so now I will use the, the new camp mode here. So the, the good thing about the camp mode is that, oh, white balance is a little bit off here, is that um, it, well, actually I never tried it before, but hopefully, you know, the, car, the, the screen and everything will stay on. Uh, Whereas if I use the keep climate on, then you know the screen will eventually turn off. So what do we do in the first? Uh, do we play games or do we watch movies? Uh, I guess I want to play some games. So let's see. Bring up this one. Entertainment. And what is a new game here? Stardew Valley. Maybe I should test it out. All right. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, so as usual, I use the Xbox controller. Yes. Uh, but it's kind of weird because uh, I tried this before. Uh, okay, I guess we have to do a new one. No, wait. English, Deutsch, Russian, Espanol. Wait, can I? These are, these are weird, man. How do I control this? I feel like the controller here doesn't work properly. Uh, can I click? Oh, okay, I can click. Yeah, okay, let's do that for now. New. Oh, that's slow. Okay, here we go. Yeah, standard farm. What kind of farm? Yeah, well, okay, I want the standard farm. Okay, name. Oh, let me see. M. G. Bjorn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can. What is that? Sure. Oh, okay, I can, you can customize lots of shit here. Okay, whatever. Let's just go for it. Uh, what the heck? This game looks so Nintendo like. NES 8 bit. Wow. I mean, the, the, the computer is really kick ass, so I don't know why they introduce these old games. I want some new shit. Okay, let's try something else then. Oh, yeah, this is way more fun, man. Way better graphics, also. Oh, okay, let's roll. Oh, yeah, let's go for Ludicrous. Hey! Yeah, like a boss. Wait, 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 wait give me some power ups. Ah, shit. Man, I'm gonna lose this. Ow! Hey, hey! That's not cool, man. Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you gotta get it now! You gotta get it now! Mmm, I got a present for you! Bam! <laughs> okay, let's, let's use my power up. Let's get that one. Mm, mm. Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, oh, it's bad driving. No! Nine, 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 nine! Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh, can't see. Jack shit! Okay, here we go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Careful! Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Oh, the police is invulnerable. 
You can't touch this. You can't touch the police. Seems like I might be winning this. Oh no. Just had a poor start, but a great comeback. Yes. Ooh. Come on, come on, rockets. Yes, Falcon X. Rockets. Oh, they stole some much. Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, I have a great lead now. Oh, yes. First place, like a boss. Okay, let's watch some uh, YouTube videos. Yes. Hmm, let me see. Loading. Yeah, okay, my, my mistake, by the way. You don't need to be on Wi Fi to uh, use YouTube. That was just uh, for beta testers. So, all right, let's see. Loading, loading, loading. What? What? Theater currently? What? What? Huh? Check your internet connection. Gee, what the heck? That's weird. Well, I mean, I'm on Wi Fi because I just downloaded the update, but uh, I guess I can just uh, switch off the the internet then let me see like this and now it should be on lte yeah okay let's see if it works now not sure what what was up with that one hmm loading 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 well there you go oh yeah let's see okay subscriptions let me watch i want to watch starcraft Whoa, beastie Yes, Beastie, that's right. Okay. Uh, how do I go to his channel? Yeah, what is this? Oh, hey, let's watch this one. It's one of my Thai boys. Oh, what the heck? Oh, ads. Man, I need ad block here. One hour. Mm. Mm. And we'll see what I can do. What's going on? Right, we are about to hit the two hour mark, but uh, I might just as well wrap up now. So uh, you see that. We have spent uh, almost four kilowatt hours, so it will be about four kilowatt hours once we hit the two hour mark. And that means two kilowatt, or, or well, in other words, two kilowatt hour per hour. And then hour eliminates hours, so it becomes two kilowatt. And that means that um, I could probably camp here for about 35 hours before I run out of juice. Or in, in most cases, you know, people don't get stuck for that long. So it means that even if it's a typical um, a convoy scenario where you wait a couple hours, as long as you have fast charging nearby, or it doesn't have to be right nearby, like I show you guys, you know, it could be a supercharger even 100 kilometers away, just top up enough there, then come over here, and then wait here, and then eventually when the road opens, then you can get over to the other side safely. So of course, I should also try this, not in a Tesla, but in a Kona or something else, but I just happen to own a Tesla. But you know, the good thing about Tesla or EVs is that I can have it nice and comfortable in here, you know? Uh, I don't have to turn off the engine because the problem with fossil car is that usually, you know, um, it depends of course where the wind blows or whatever, but um, you might be asked to turn off the engine and you want to do it yourself because um, the, the carbon monoxide might enter the car or you might, you know, get it in the car behind you or whatever. So there's been cases on convoys. That was uh, Hardangi Vida. I think it was eight, uh, eight years ago where there was a lot, I mean, a big storm. And of course, back then, lots of fossil cars, they were waiting for five, six hours. And many people, they, you know, they were really ill after the, the all the... Uh, what do you call it, um, the exhaust from all the other cars, you know, it's, it's bad shit, so, you know, I'm trying to kill some myth here that people, diesel lovers, they think that EVs are not good for convoy in winter, but I prove them wrong. I claim that EVs are better than fossil cars just because of the pollution part, but also when it comes to traction and comfort, you know, so really good shit. 
Yeah, so um, yeah, there we go. Now we hit four kilowatt hours. Uh, yeah, so we will hit um, the two hour mark soon. So it'll actually be a little bit more than two kilowatt, but and it also means that in general that um, we spend about three percent per hour. So that's a rule of thumb, I guess, for this car. But then again, it depends on other types of car. But okay, two kilowatt is actually kind of high, by the way. Uh, I bet uh, a car with heat pump. Uh, it's not too hot outside. I mean, it's too, not too, too cold. It's minus two, yeah. It's usually not that uh, cold when you have a snowstorm because then it will be cloudy, you know, like now. And then it just snows a lot. That's usually when they have the convoy. If it's clear, then it's cold, you know. Usually when it's cold outside, let's say it's minus 20 or 30, then it's just clear sky. And then even if you have lots of wind, then most likely, then there won't be a convoy. The road will still be open. You can just pass it. So unfortunately, we cannot pass here today. I'm, even if I can pass it today, um, I'm still kind of stuck if I go to the other side. So I have to go back again. But um, yeah, it was still a good test. And also this proves that uh, the, uh, the energy consumption now was higher than when I camp at the calm place. That was at Vinstra, you know, for 24 hours. So then the consumption was lower but here we see now, and also back then, I also used the, the window covers. I believe that actually if I use the window covers here, it would help. But on the other hand, you know, who the heck carries around with the window shades, right? And again, you know, it's not really a big deal because usually you have more than enough juice to just camp here like I did anyway. So, yeah. So uh, actually the last thing I will do is just check out outside, yes. Holy shit balls! It's a shit storm outside. It's blowing, it's snowing a lot and almost no visibility. I have about 50 meters of visibility. Damn! And the car has been covered with snow. So I have to clean the car before I start driving. Damn, this is getting real bad. But okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, so let's get the heck out of here. But anyway, this was just an interesting test and it was clearly completely different than than that, that calm test I did for 24 hours. So maybe next time I should try to camp in the car for 24 hours in a shit storm, but it seems a bit scary. So I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later. And the lens is getting covered with snow now. Oh shit. Oh, what? <laughs> I went outside and it came in. And the screen looks like this. This is the camp mode. <laughs> wow, awesome, man. Tesla for the win.